Welcome to another video on my channel. I am so happy to be filming here in my room. I have not been home in quite some time and I'm not going to be home for that much longer. We just stopped by the house to get some clothes for winter because we have to go back up to my grandmother's house in Wisconsin and take care of my grandmother. And we only had summer stuff packed because we did not know that we were gonna have to be doing that. But, so we're gonna get all of our winter clothes and go back up there. But in the meantime, I have something very exciting to show you guys. I have become homeschooled again for my final senior year. And uh, my brother still goes to the school that I went to. So I want to go pick him up one day. And one of my friends, the same one who gave me that huge duffel full of amazing dolls, she brought me something else. And it is this gigantic box. If you can see how big this is, it's super exciting. She brought me this gigantic box full of dolls. And this is what it looks like just from the top. So it's got a lot, it's full. And as you can see, I already have some of the dolls here from the previous package that she sent me. I have Winter Rhapsody Barbie here. I've got one of the Mindsome Barbies over here. I have one of the uh, Zodiac Barbies over here. So the last time she sent me stuff, I got some really, really good stuff. So before we leave again to go back up to Wisconsin, I am going to go ahead and show you guys the stuff that she got. Now, I could not help it and I opened it and I looked in the top. So. I have seen what is on the very top layer, but I have not seen what is underneath, and it is a lot. There's a lot to go through, so I'm going to go ahead and open this. I'm really excited. And the first doll is one of these. Now, I think this is one of the Cali girls. She's very pretty. She has the Leah face sculpt, and she is wearing Peaches and Cream Barbie's dress, and she is wearing this purple necklace. This will help me identify her. And she is in really good shape. Her hair is pulled up in a ponytail but it still feels really nice and soft and smooth. She's a little bit dirty. She's got like a scuff mark on her face, but it's really not that big of a deal. And I like the fact that she is dressed. Now the next one is this, I think this is Cali, Cali Girl Ken. And I think he's wearing his outfit as well. I do not have this particular Ken. I have a different one and he is pretty cool. He's got really long blonde hair and like a surfing or scuba shirt and then swimming trunks. And he's in pretty good shape as well. His hair is a little bit gelled, but other than that, it's perfectly okay. I'm moving through this really fast because I don't have a lot of time to do this. We have to leave tonight, actually. And she also mentioned that she did not really have time to sort this stuff, so there's gonna be like clothes and stuff thrown in, I guess, and it's not gonna be like organized, but that is totally fine. Like, I still cannot believe that Cheeky's giving me all of this stuff. So, that said, there is this gorgeous ballet tutu right here. It's absolutely stunning. It's red and gold and it has glitter on the bodice and it has a red um, overlay with this gold skirt underneath and this is an absolutely gorgeous tutu ballet dress. It's super pretty. And then there is, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I have so many, these are, these are really cute clothes. There is this t-shirt. It's got flowers and like it doesn't have flowers it's got like stars and hearts and rain clouds and stuff on it and then it has this pink belt and it's got like a little bit of blue at the bottom it is very cute the next doll is a moxie girls that's very exciting i don't have a ton of moxie girls and this one i do not have she is very pretty she has long brown hair and she is one of the older ones so she doesn't have feet and she has pink earrings She's very pretty. I don't have her. I'm very excited, but Moxie Girls are a pain in the butt to identify. But this one is very pretty. She's kind of distinct looking. Her lips and earrings sort of set her apart. Um, but she's in pretty good condition too. Her hair is actually really, really nice. I don't even think it's going to need like a flat iron. So that is very exciting. The next one, let's see. Ooh, there is some more clothes. I think these are inside out. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these right side out. It looks like it's a pair of like camo tights, I think. I'm not entirely certain, but they look like they're made from like mesh or, you know, tulle and they're sort of like camo. Let me see. I've almost got it. Okay, here we go. There we go. Yeah, it looks like there's this really cute pair of like camo tulle pants. They're very cute. I don't know if they're for Barbie, but that is very exciting. 
And then we have this plaid, or this, not plaid, this is, um, I think this is actually, yeah, this is plaid. A plaid top, it's open in the front and it's got like a little ruffle going down it. It is very, very cute. These clothes are absolutely amazing. I'm going to have so much fun dressing my Barbies. The next one, ooh, this is a Hairtastic Barbie. And it's got a Barbie brush in there as well. And I think she's in her original outfit. This is a gorgeous Barbie doll. She's got her necklace, her dress, and shoes. And she has got really cool makeup and this bright pink hair with a strip of tinsel that is blue. She is very cool. Ooh, I like her a lot. She is very unique looking. I love this. I love Hairtastic Barbies. And she is in really nice shape. Her hair is really, really nice. I think this was around the time when my friend, her name is Trinity, started to phase out of dolls. So they're sort of kept nicer because she didn't really play with them as much. So she is very, very gorgeous. I'm really excited about this one. She's fully dressed. And then we have... Ooh, we have an older Stacy doll. So here she is. I think these are the ones that belong to her grandmother. Um, she is very cool. She, I do not have any of these type of Stacys. So this is very exciting. She doesn't have clothes, but that's okay. And she's actually in really nice shape. So like her hair is nice and soft and it's not too tangled. And she's got this darling face. I really like her. Is so exciting. Okay, so we've got quite a few more bits of clothing here. Um, and then we have this bag of more clothes here. And I'm going to save these on my lap and show these to you later um, once we get through some more of the dolls. So we have this absolutely adorable tiny little mermaid. She is super, super cute. I don't even know if she's Barbie. I do not recognize her. But she's very, very cute. And she has rooted hair that is very nice and soft. Very adorable. I have only just barely made a dent in this box, guys. I've got so much more to go. Holy cow. Okay, so moving on. I think this is one of the, like, I've seen this type of Chelsea before. And they're kind of funny looking. But I'm very excited to have one. She's very unique. She's got, like, a, like an oval face but like the other way so like not this way and the other way but she's very cute too and she is in the same condition as the others her hair is not bad at all she's quite nice and then ooh, I do not have any dolls like this whoa if you guys know what kind of doll this is let me know in the comments because she is very very cute I like her a lot she is obviously like supposed to be like a toddler but she's got really cute cropped red hair and green eyes and this really cute face I don't know what kind of doll this is but I really like it okay moving on okay so we've got some like little babies here there's quite a few um, like Kelly type dolls let's see here I'm going to try and pull them all out so I can show them all to you at once. I think I don't see any more. There probably is more, um, but I don't see them. But we've got some Kellys here. So we have another one of these cute little mermaids. Very, very cute. This one's got a pink tail instead and light pink hair. So now I have two, so they're not going to be alone. That is very exciting. And then we have one of the Kelly Club dolls. I think she's one of the Halloween ones because she's got like vampire fangs. And she has part of her top, so that is very nice. Her hair is pretty good. It's a little bit greasy, but that is okay. It's very nice and soft still. Trinity obviously takes very good care of her dolls. Here's one that unfortunately does have cut hair. Um, if you hear jangling, it's because my dog just came into the room. But she does have cut hair, but it's just this little baby. Hi, Boogie. And then we have this very cute baby with very, very chubby cheeks. I think it's a Barbie baby, I'm not entirely certain, but she is very cute. And then we have this very nice Kelly doll, I think she's probably from around like 2007-ish. She's very pretty, she's got brown hair and green eyes, she is very, very cute. Actually, she has blue eyes, blue. She is very cute, her hair is very soft, even though it's kind of all over the place, but she is very cute. And then we have a live wig very exciting. I think this one has been cut, but it looks like I'm going to be able to style it, so that is absolutely okay. That is very exciting. I can definitely use more live wigs. Ooh, it's another one of these kinds of dolls wearing a Barbie Aurora dress. That is exciting because I'm actually running out of Aurora clothes. But 
I do not know what kind of dolls these are, but now I have two. They're very neat. This one is has darker skin and brown hair and like green eyes as well. She's very, very cute. I don't know what kind of dolls these are. Um, this one is a little bit, um, she's got some like colored smudges on her face, but it looks like they're topical, so it looks like they can be removed. That is very exciting. Now I have two. I have the redhead and this one, so now I've got two of them. That's very cool. Next doll, ooh, ooh, it's another live wig. Awesome. Okay, so I am very happy about this because I have a lot of wig lives that could use wigs. This one's very cute. Um, it's got like a side false bang, and then it's got a red headband, and it's like very, very curly. That is super cool. And then we got some more clothes. I'm going to put those to the side. We have one of the live heads. Very, very nice. I can use these. Ooh, here's another one to display. Okay, so we have this Barbie in a very nice Cinderella dress. That's very cool. And I think this might be one of the, like, Halloween-type Barbies, just judging off of, you know, her style and everything. And also because the fact that there is a witch hat in here. She really liked Halloween, so she had a lot of Halloween Barbies, which is why I got two of them in the last time. So there is a pink Halloween hat and this Barbie. Her hair isn't too bad, just like all the other ones. It's just a little bit disheveled, but like not really that, pretty much untouched. And she's got a really neat face. I do not have this one. So far I've not gotten a single doll that I have. And that is very cool. Like y'all, I've only sorted to about here on the box. I still have this much to go, which is epic. Okay. I'm Knocking stuff down. Okay, I'll put the Barbie back. All right, next one is, ooh, it's a Halloween Barbie. I do not have this one either. She has pink streak in her hair, and she's wearing this outfit, and she's got a purple or pinkish Barbie necklace, and she's got this dress on and these brown boots. I do not know if these boots belong to her. Um, I think they might actually be black, but. That is very cool that she is fully dressed and in such nice shape. She is just like the other ones. I do not have her. She's very pretty. I really like her face. She's got really neat makeup. The pink matches the rest of her outfit. Ooh, next is another live wig. Very exciting. This one is black, so now I have a blonde, a black, and a brunette. This one, I do have this wig, but that is okay. I can definitely use more live wigs. I'm going to go ahead and put that down. Let's see, okay, so there's a lot of, like, accessories and stuff in here, too, that are that are in here, so I'm going to put these on my lap and save them for after I've gone through all the dolls. The reason I showed you those other ones is because they were, like, right on top. Okay, let's see here. There's, like, so much stuff in here, you guys. It's not even funny. Oh, we have another one of these little mini mermaids. This one is yellow-themed, and she has a yellow tail and yellow hair. Very cool. These are really, really cute. I want to know who they are. Okay, let's see. I'm still, like, taking clothes and stuff out. I'm gonna have to definitely do two parts, as far as we can tell. And there is another live wig in here. This is so cool. This one is in pigtails and has a hat. Very cool. Okay. Let's see. We have, I don't know who this is, but she is very interesting. I do not know who she is, but she has short uh, blonde hair. I don't know if it's been cut or not, um, but she's got a really cute little face and a green outfit with a strawberry on it, and then she has molded shoes. If you guys know what kind of doll this is, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you can identify any of these dolls that I'm pulling out, please do, if so compelled. Okay, so more clothes. We have a Hannah Montana Barbie. Now, I don't collect these, but their clothes are really nice, so I'm definitely going to be taking this dress. Um, I don't really have very much to say about the doll. I don't collect them. Um, it's because I never really got into Hannah Montana and the dolls aren't too, I don't know, I'm just not too into them. But we do have one of the My Scene dolls with the very unique face molds. I do not know if I have this one or not. I'm looking amongst my My Scene dolls. I don't think I have her and she is wearing a swimsuit that I don't think belongs to her. But still it is a complete swimsuit so that's very cool. Her hair is a little bit uh, worse than the rest, but it's still not bad at all. Like, her her ringlets are still intact, so that's making me think that maybe it will clean up just fine. That's very cool. Ooh, this, ooh, she's gorgeous. I think I found who the pink witch hat belongs to. This is a gorgeous doll. So she has pink and black hair, 
and she's got this really unique face. She's got like pink and purple eyeshadow and really nice lips and then she's got this really cool dress going on that's supposed to be like torn at the bottom and then she has these pink boots. This is a very cool doll. I do not have this doll and she is very very pretty. Her hair is a little bit more plagued with, with the rest but it still looks like it's gonna be just fine. There's still so much in here you guys. I cannot even... Okay so here is another Halloween Barbie. This time she has pale blonde hair with purple streaks and she's got an orange and purple dress with purple boots so that it's very very cool. Do not have her either. That is what her face looks like. Very very nice. Very cool. Next is another one of those dolls that I don't know who they are. They're little. They kind of look like the big versions. Um, this one has long hair and no dress but she has molded shoes and she's got a really cool face. I don't know what kind of dolls these are, um, but the hair is still really nice. A little tangled, but not too bad at all. And then we have a Liv doll. So now I have a Liv to go with these wigs. I do not know which Liv this is, and I don't know if I have her because their faces can get really generic. So I do not know if I have her. Um, and she does have some scuffs on top, but... She is in good condition other than that. She doesn't have clothes, but that's really not that big of a deal. I got a bunch of clothes from my friend. And then we have another Live doll. This is very exciting. So she has her top and her earrings. And she has... She doesn't have a wig or pants or shoes, but that is okay because I have a wig and obviously pants and shoes. And she is very nice. I don't know if I have this one, but she has very nice earrings and a very nice top. Lip clothes are so well -known. And we have another Liv doll, and I think this one is, has her full outfit except for shoes and wig, obviously. She's got earrings and her top and jacket, pants, purse. And this is very cool. I do think I have her, but I don't think I have her complete. So this is very, very exciting, and she's definitely going to be wearing um, one of the lip wigs that I got. That is very cool. Her clothes look to be in excellent condition. And here we have another, uh, I think this is like a Cali Boy Ken. He has his uh, cowrie shell necklace and he's got his swim trunks on. I don't know if he's supposed to come with a top or not. I do think I have him already, um, but that is okay. I'm very excited to have another one. His shorts need to be cleaned, but he's in pretty good condition. I'm moving really fast because I still have a lot to go through. Ooh, there is a Barbie fluffy fuzzy stickers. It's got like Barbie and it's got butterflies and flowers. That is very cool. There is this scooter. I don't know if it belongs to Barbie but it looks like you put the legs in here and then you never hold the handlebars and then you just scooter along. Very cool. Ooh, we have another Liv. Okay, I do not think I have this one. So she is wearing her shoes and her leggings and she is very cool she has also earrings and i don't know who she is i'm not very familiar with Liv, even though i have quite a few and i haven't gotten Liv dolls in a long time so this is actually kind of exciting to find so many but she is very pretty she's got her eyes are kind of like downcast it looks like she's looking like down kind of she's very pretty though i really like her like beige and like earth toned makeup she is very pretty that's very exciting okay let's see guys brush. I've got so many things to get through. Ah, okay, let's see. Ooh, we have another live wig. Now this one is black, but it has purple streaks in it. So that is very cool. It's similar to all the other live wigs, so in pretty good condition. Let's see here. I'm trying to get out the clothes and save them to the side, but they're like all mixed in. But it's so cool that like I've got clothes and stuff along with these. It's very neat. I'm very excited that I've got clothes and stuff to go with it. Okay. Ooh, I like this Barbie a lot. She is, whoa, she's so pretty. This is a pretty Barbie. Okay, so here she is. I think she might be one of like the city style Barbies or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but she is beautiful. She's got really cool like sultry angular eyes and brown hair. She is a very, very pretty. I like her a lot. She's got really nice face. She's got really neat makeup, dark lips. She is absolutely gorgeous and she's wearing this really pretty dress. I don't know if it belongs to her or not, but that is super exciting. She is one of the coolest Barbies that I found today. Next, let's see who we got going on here. Ooh, we have one of, I think this is the prince from Sleeping Beauty. 
He is one of the old ones or something because he is very interesting looking. Um, I don't know who he is, but he's got really huge feet. Um, but he has his top and his pants, so that is cool. And he's got actually a pretty nice face. His face is a little bit squished, but he seems to, he's got a really nice face. This is very cool. Moving on. Ooh, she's pretty too. We have a, another Barbie. I think this is probably one of the city style Barbies. And I think she might be wearing her outfit. I'm not entirely certain. Wow, caught in my hair. But she's got this striped top and then some like cut off pants. And I don't know if her hair has been cut or not. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, but she is in pretty good shape. I really like her a lot. I don't know if I have her. She's got red lips and the crusty face mold. Um, I'm the condition of all these are pretty much the same. So unless they're out of the ordinary, I'm not going to drop something. Spend too much time talking about it. But this is very cool. Okay, moving on. All right. So if you hear like people talking and stuff, it's because my parents are trying to pack, and I'm just trying to film this really quick. Ooh, this is pretty. I have not seen this doll before. Um, she's really pretty. I don't know who she is though. Um, she actually has like a drawstring on her back and her skirt is like attached to her and then it looks like if you pull it then the skirt gets shorter. That is a cool thing and I think her hair might have been cut but that is okay. It was not cut that bad and she's got this really pretty Teresa face mold and she's got this reddish brown hair. She is very neat and I think that this top belongs to her. She is a very the cool next doll. Ooh. I think I have a doll from this line. It's one of those like fairy tale type lines. Sorry, I'm getting kind of hot. Um, but this one is definitely the prettiest out of the one that I have. She is a mermaid. The one thing that sort of weirds me out is that her tail's bent the wrong way, but it doesn't look like there's any way to like turn that around. I don't know, maybe her tail is broken, but she has her top, which is very well detailed. And she is so cool. She's got this really pretty glittery makeup and this silver tiara and like crimps down her back. And her tail has a lot of like really sparkly detail and it's made of rubber and it looks like she's supposed to do something because on her back there's like a little compartment for batteries but she is very pretty that's very neat i don't have this one it looks like this is the day for getting like unique type dolls because there are some dolls in here that i've never seen before so that's very exciting okay let's see here what do we got going on Ugh. When I'm trying, oh, we got one of the little tiaras from those little miniature mermaids. That's very cool. I'm trying to get like all of these. Um... Here's another uh, live head. So you have three live heads so far. There's a lot of hair here. Ooh, it's another Moxie girl, and it looks like she has her outfit. This one is one of the gorgeous black haired ones. Her hair is a little bit more messed up. I'm thinking that maybe she was played with more, but a flat iron will obviously fix that up really fast. She's wearing this really pretty blue top and these white leggings. She's very pretty. Next is another one of those mysterious dolls. Now her hair has definitely been cut, but I think I can even it a little. Um, this one kind of is bad because it's really short, but I can do my best and see if maybe there's something I can do about it. Maybe tie it back with a headband, I don't know. Um, but she is one of those other type dolls. She's got the molded shoes. Don't know who she is though. So she is definitely very interesting. Next is, ooh, it's another Moxie Girls. Okay, so this one looks like she may have been drawn on, but she is another one of the really pretty black haired ones. It looks like she's got some pink on her face, um, but it looks like it can be removed just fine. Um, She's been obviously given some eyeshadow under her eyebrows, but that is okay. Um, it looks like she's got saran hair, which is very interesting, so I'll definitely probably be able to fix her really easily. And she's got these braids in her hair, and she I think this is her outfit as well. So that is cool. We've got two more Moxie girls. This is the third one that I found. Here is, ooh, I do have a doll from this line, but I don't have this particular one. These look to be a lot of like playline type Barbies. So she even has her shoes. Unfortunately, her ankle is broken, but I'm thinking I might be able to glue it if I don't mess with it too much. She still even has her shoes and she has her skirt and everything. She is one of these, um, the fairy tale, like basic, basically like the budget, like play type dolls, but she is very pretty. Her hair is in really nice shape. She even has her shoes. That's super exciting. We're finally kind of getting to the bottom here. <gasps> Okay, this is one of my favorite finds. 
I do have this doll already, but I definitely do not have the dress. This is Giselle from Enchanted. You do not find very many of these, so this is super, super exciting. Now, she is very, very gorgeous. I love her a lot. This is super exciting. Her hair is kind of tangled, more tangled than the rest, but that is absolutely okay. And even though her dress is kind of stained, I can very easily fix it. Now, I have filmed a lot of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end the video here and do a part two where I show you the rest of the stuff in this box and all of the clothes. So stay tuned for that. So far, this is an amazing haul. I cannot believe that my friend was nice enough to give me this, but stay tuned for part two and I will see you then.